Uriah Tracy February 2, 1755 to July 19, 1807, was an 18th-century American lawyer and politician from Connecticut. He served in both the House of Representatives and the Senate. Biography <inaudible> 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 Tracy was born in Franklin, Connecticut. In his youth he received a liberal education. His name is listed as amongst those in a company from Roxbury responding to the Lexington Alarm at the beginning of the American Revolutionary War. He later served in the Roxbury Company as a clerk Tracy subsequently graduated from Yale University where his contemporaries included Noah Webster in 1778. He was admitted to the bar in 1781 after which he practiced law in Litchfield for many years. He served in the state legislature in 1788–1793, and in the United States House of Representatives from April 8, 1793 to October 13, 1796. Having been chosen as a Federalist, he resigned his seat when he was elected to the United States Senate in place of Jonathan Trumbull, who had resigned. Tracy served until the time of his death in Washington, D.C. He has the distinction of being the first member of Congress interred in the Congressional Cemetery. His descendants include the mathematician Curtis Tracy McCullen and the author Jeannie Gould. In 1803, he and several other New England politicians proposed secession of New England from the Union due to growing influence of Jeffersonian Democrats and the Louisiana Purchase, which they felt would further diminish Northern influence. His portrait, painted by Ralph Earle, is in the collection of the Litchfield Historical Society in Litchfield, Connecticut. See also List of United States Congress members who died in office 1792